Hey everybody, so I wanted to take a quick five minutes tonight and go over the particles, uh, particle effects, and throw out some settings for people to copy down if you want to, and uh, include the emitter images that I'm using and what you're looking at right now. Uh, I'm going to throw all those into a zip file, and I'll go over them real quick here. So you can see emitter one, just three dots there, and that's creating this one down here. Uh, and then you could go emitter 2 and you can see that that's just a single dot creating this kind of uh, flying through space effect uh, as well as the flame effect that's the same little graphic uh, emitter number two that's doing both of those emitter three is three little dots coming out of each other um, and then you can see it kind of flying off there that is also creating this yellow one that's kind of like a busy I don't know beehive flying around thing there but uh, yeah number four you got doing kind of the smoke thing. It's just kind of a smoke cluster. I probably could have done some more with those, but uh, I just I wanted to go mess with some other stuff. I uh, got number five there, which is just a couple of sticks that are uh, skewed off to an angle. Go away. Go away. Okay. Number five, there's those sticks I'm talking about. Number six are straight up and down sticks. And then number seven is just a single uh, little stick there. That's all it is, creating all of that. So BuildBox uh, lets you take all this stuff in using the particle emitters on here. And I'm going to go ahead and close this, otherwise it, it'll probably crash. Um, but I'm going to go through the settings for each one of these. And then you can copy those down, pause the video while I'm playing through here. And, uh, and then if you want to go grab that emitter image, because I'm going to include all of these in a zip file. Um, so you can, you can just grab the image out of the zip file apply the whatever settings that I have uh, put in here and then tweak it if you want to your own liking but uh, at least you you know you'll have a, a base something to go off of here so I'll click on edit for instance emitter number one if you drag slide this over a little bit if you drag uh, let's see this image whoa and you put it on if you were to drag that image and put it into the emitter, it's already there. I'm not going to do it. I'll hit the escape key to stop. But that will drag it into your emitter, and, that, and then you'll be using that for the image um, as the source, source image. So then you change it to these settings, and you're good to go. You're going to get the same thing you're looking at on the screen right now. And now I'll just go through those one at a time. Pause the screen to record uh, if you want to write down the numbers that I have in here. So that's emitter number one. This is emitter number two. And this is a feature request I put in for us to uh, have persistent window states. Um, but here's number two. So persistent window states, meaning I have this set right now where I want it. I close it. I open up another one, and it should open in the same place. But it doesn't. It opens over here. So there's a feature request. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Number, which one is this? this the third one. Um, this is literally just that single ball I showed you. And creating the flame. There's your settings. Pause if you want to write them down. Closing. Do that again. I'm just going to keep going through these. And these, this is only a small sample of what you can do. Like I. I was literally just sitting here having some drinks and playing with particle effects tonight. Um, I mean, who doesn't do that on a on a Sunday night when they have the day off on Monday? Uh, yeah, here's your settings for that one. Uh, but there is literally probably unlimited an unlimited amount of particle effects you could come up with here. So that's supposed to be kind of like smoke, and then you'll see also I combine those on two and four up here to, to together, but uh, it didn't quite get the effect I wanted to on that one. I'm sorry, now I'm jumping around here. Didn't quite get the effect on that one, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Here is emitter 5 settings. There you go. Pause if you want it. Number 6, edit. Rawr. Can't grab that one. I'm not going to do these two. I'll just go to the next one, just because those are already down here, two and four. Whoa. 
way cool. I love these particle effects. And that is really about it. That's all of them. I uh, hope you, if you want, you know, go back, write those down, use them as you wish, uh, pull them out of the uh, zip file. I'm going to try to attach a zip to the uh, form post. If I can't attach it, then I'll upload it somewhere on the video. I'll, probably, I'll put a link to wherever it does end up, wherever I end up uh, uploading it. So uh, check out the video on YouTube and look in the link or look in the description. There'll be a link to where these files will be hosted at. All right, so that was it. That is all of the uh, settings I wanted to go over. These are pretty sweet. I like them. Uh, emitters rock, and this is only scratching the surface of what you can really do with emitters. Um, I can't wait to see what other people do and what kind of games, full-blown games that come out with people that have you know some extremely creative uh, you know minds about them. Um, it's going to be awesome. So anyway, that's it for now. Please, please follow me on Twitter. Um, I'm on Twitter and YouTube. Uh, please subscribe. I want to post new videos like this with uh, you know free stuff. You'll be you'll be notified if you're subscribed. And uh, I'm also on Facebook a little bit, uh, but more Twitter and YouTube. So that's it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care.